time. Too. Yeah, I know. It's it's like we're getting into that most active time frame too. It's it's pretty unfortunate timing, uh, late August, uh, but we still do have rip current concerns at the North Carolina beaches today and specifically for coastal Pender and New Hanover counties. Uh, the, the beaches you heard us talking about most Carolina Beach, Wrightsville Beach and Surf City all along the coast there have a high risk of rip currents today through this evening, even though Ernesto is still well, well offshore. I'll give you a quick update. Check it out. Hundreds and hundreds of miles away from our coastline, but still some rough surf and rip current concerns. So be aware at the beach and listen to the lifeguards for the next couple of days. We want to prevent uh, any more uh, uh, hazards and, and swimmer uh, injuries in those rip currents. Uh, Ernesto this morning is a tiny but mighty a hurricane with winds of 85 miles per hour. It is scooting off to the north and northeast at about 20 miles per hour, uh, which is pretty fast for a tropical system. And over the next couple days, it'll continue moving off in that direction and eventually weakening over the cooler waters of the, the northern Atlantic. So no more issues for us. You got to keep an eye out for those rip currents there at the coast, though. Uh, right now, a beautiful sunrise shaping up here in the Piedmont Triad. Upper 60s out there this morning, 68 in Winston-Salem. Dew points down in the low 60s, too, so it's fairly comfortable outside. Most of our day is dry, especially the first half. But later this afternoon, there could be an isolated storm that tries to pop up on the heels of a cold front. I don't think they're, uh, the storms will be quite as strong or as numerous as they were yesterday, but it's well, something we'll watch out for. A narrow window of opportunity for a storm there uh, before things quickly scoot out later on this evening. So here's that hour by hour forecast. A nice morning, temperatures in the 70s, lots of sunshine. By lunchtime, maybe out there on the motorcycle, uh, low to mid 80s for you. Uh, around the Piedmont Triad, and then we're back down into the 70s later this evening. Best chance for storms between 3 and 6 o'clock later on this evening. The foothills, very similar story. Uh, low 80s for us this afternoon for highs. Only mid 70s in the mountains today, so a pretty comfortable day across the area all around. Uh, there's that cold front that we'll see those storms popping up right on the heels of uh, this afternoon. It'll continue pushing off to the south and east over the next 24 hours or so. Once it moves off further to our south and east, some really, really nice air uh, is on the way and moving in behind it for the rest of our work week. Uh, this is our only rain chance I have in the forecast. And from here, some drier and cooler air will begin to move in. So still some humidity today, but much more comfortable Tuesday and then very pleasant for uh, late August in the Carolinas on Wednesday and Thursday. A uh, really a 10 out of 10 forecast. And those morning lows will start to dip down as well. Some of the coolest air we've had in quite some time. Low 60s by Tuesday morning, upper 50s for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday morning too. So some really nice mornings on the way. Afternoons will feel more comfortable too with highs in the upper 70s and low 80s this week. So an isolated storm possible later on this afternoon. Heavy rain, maybe some gusty winds possible with a couple of those. And then that drier air moves in for Tuesday and then things cool off a little bit. Upper 70s for Wednesday and Thursday. It'll be our first real taste of fall. Just a gorgeous stretch of days here in the seven day forecast.